everybody, I am back today and I am doing a hair tutorial, which I haven't done in a hot minute. And I don't think I've done one since my hair has been green. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I have. So today I am doing a tutorial because my cookbook has come out this month. And this is the hairstyle that is on the cover of my book. And some people have been asking me about it. It is a updated triple victory roll hair tutorial. My last triple victory roll hair tutorial I did was also with a Gibson roll in the back. So it didn't have curls that were down and it also was kind of configured a little bit differently so here is an update to that and without further ado let's get started okay so now i'm going to start by sectioning my hair and the first section i'm going to do is this center section so this is going to be my barrel roll so i'm just drawing a little u-shaped section of my hair so then i'm just going to tie this section up with a little clippy there we go. So then the next section you're gonna do is just like we do sections for victory rolls. So from the corner of your ear, all the way up to where this U kind of comes to, it's U. And same thing, if you just use the back of your comb, that little rat tail part, it'll help you to draw that line. And if you feel like you don't have enough hair, you can pull this back a little bit, that's okay. And then same thing, just pin up into your section. And then the same thing on the other side. For some reason, my hair grows thicker on this side of my hair, so I don't have to section as much hair. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I sleep on this side, or I don't know. I have more hair hormones that grow on this side of my body. It's probably science. So now that that is all pinned up, I'm going to work on my curls. So I just sprayed a heat protecting spray in my hair, and I'm just going to brush it through. And now I'm going to pin curl. So I'm just using a 3 quarters inch curling iron. And I'm just gonna do small sections. I'm not gonna be super concerned with them being super nice and neat because the focus of this style is really the front. So I'm not gonna make it super coiffed in the back. So I'm just gonna roll, or I guess wrap the hair around the iron. Make sure you get the ends in there. And then once it comes off, we're gonna pin it. And I'm gonna do this for my whole head. Done. So your curls don't have to be neat. Don't worry about them looking pretty. It's the end result that matters. So now we're going to take these out and I'm going to curl the hair in the direction that I want my roll to roll. Now I do have layers in the front as you can see. So sometimes it's easier to do this in two sections with your longer layers and your shorter layers. If you leave your ends straight, it just makes it harder to form the rolls at the end. Okay, so now we're going to tease. And I'm just taking small sections to tease and give it a nice, good, tight tease. The better the tease, the more these are gonna stay and last throughout the day. So now I'm gonna take some of my pomade. I am using Lady Luck Hair Pomade. And I'm just gonna use this to smooth some of those frizzies that I just created by teasing. So make sure you really get around your hairline, especially if you have baby hairs and then also on the back. And now I'm gonna take my smoothing comb and I'm just gonna smooth the outer layer of the hair. Do not brush through the tees because then you'll have to re-tease it. So now once that's all smooth, we're gonna take it and roll it down and pin it. I'm gonna take it up here and I'm just gonna wrap it around my two fingers. And I hold it out at an angle so that as you roll it down, it goes onto the side. If you hold it straight up, you're gonna get it down and it's gonna be right in the center of your forehead. Unless you wanna roll in the center of your forehead, which is totally fine. So then I'm just gonna carefully roll it down while I sort of push this down to make sure it has the right shape. If you feel like it's being pulled over a little bit too far that way, you can re-roll it, but I think this one's gonna be okay. So then the first pin I put in is gonna be right here going that way. That's gonna anchor it. And then the second pin I put in is going to be on the outer part of the roll going that way. Boop. And that's gonna anchor it down. So now I'm gonna take my hairspray. Spray! Oh, my hairspray is clogged. Uno momento, por favor. There we go. Spray, give it a little smooth, make sure it's the shape you want it to be. And then a little bit of spray right in the center. And then I'm gonna take the rat tail part of my comb and just smooth that spray. I always get hairspray in my mouth. It doesn't matter what I do, every time. I need to just shut my big mouth when I'm doing these tutorials, which wouldn't be a very helpful tutorial. Okay, so same thing on the other side. This time I'm gonna curl the hair going up because you want it to go in the direction that the roll is going to roll. So kind of up towards your part instead of down towards your face. And like I said, I do have layers around my face, so I'm just doing this slowly. But you don't have to pin it. You don't have to be so concerned about this being a pretty curl. And then again, I'm going to tease. So once your teasing is done, again, I'm gonna take some of that pomade or wax. So then again, I'm gonna do a little smooth Rooney, a little spray Rooney. And then 
a little roll of ribbon. So around the fingers and then just carefully roll down. First pin is gonna go in here and go that away. That's gonna anchor it. I'm gonna put another pin up here just to make sure it kind of stays that direction because it feels like it kind of wanna, wants to pull away. And I'm gonna put the third pin going that way. So basically there's pins going in it this opposite directions. Give a spray, give a smooth. A couple little unruly sons of guns trying to make my life difficult. And then finally, ugh, how? That case isn't bad though. Same thing on the last side. Make sure when you're teasing around this roll right here that you don't accidentally grab the roll. Last bit of smoothing. Okay, so again, roll around your fingers. And then roll down. So this one is gonna sit a little bit more obviously behind because it's behind that barrel roll. So it doesn't have to be like perfectly symmetrical with the other one. I usually keep this a little bit closer to my head just because if it pops out, this side of the head looks a little bit, I don't know, like heavy. There's too much roll going on over there. So I keep it a little bit closer. So now we're going to take out all of these pins. All right, once your pins are all out, I'm just going to brush through these curls. Ta -da! They don't have to be super, like I said before, super coif. I just want like a nice, smooth, even curl. So there you go, my updated triple victory roll video. I hope you guys liked this. I'm going to be making more hair tutorials, so if you want to see any updates of my old tutorials, or if you want to see hair tutorials or makeup tutorials that are brand new, please leave them in the comments below, and I promise I read all of my comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.